Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Buddy and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Buddy's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The motivation and correction that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that may be needed and the only correction that we use here at school is a tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Buddy's going to go home with his very own training collar that has been sized to him and you'll be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now he's sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash without dragging you down the street. And the command is Buddy Heal. Buddy Heal. Now at this point, Buddy has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with Rich, not forging ahead or lagging behind, always watching his trainer and keeping his shoulders even with your left leg. So if you change direction, he should change direction and he should be focused enough on you to know when you're getting ready to change direction and when you stop, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. And he's doing a great job of demonstrating the heel, which is basically loose leash walking at your left with his shoulders, even with your left leg. And the next command that Rich is going to demonstrate for you is the stay. stay. The stay is a one word command and it is a hand and voice command. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home and you can practice right indoors on chilly days is for about one minute working up to three minutes. When Rich returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him. This is an additional distraction. Return all the way back around to heel position. And at that point, Buddy expects to get another command. That's what he's been taught. And they take off healing again. So every time that you return to heel, the dog expects you to tell him what you expect of him next. Nice automatic sit. Stay. Rich leaves him in a second sit stay. And the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the come on command. So Rich is going to use his name and Buddy has been taught to come and sit right in front of you. We want him to come and sit absolutely four feet on the floor at all times. I think he thought that Rich was going to give him a, another hand command at that point. And Rich will demonstrate that comment on command again for you. This is an important exercise because Buddy's young and he's very enthusiastic. We want him to come when called, but we don't want him to come and jump all over you or be not a gentleman about it. If you notice, Rich keeps his tone low. He doesn't, you know, make a big fuss about it. Because as you can see, Buddy's tail is up and wagging. He's enjoying every minute of this one-on-one -on -one attention with Rich. So he doesn't need a lot of encouragement. Other dogs need a lot of praise to motivate them. Buddy, on the other hand, if you give him too much praise, you lose him completely. Very good, buddy. And this healing exercise is so important because if you walk your dog for exercise, you want him to be well under control. You don't want to go home with your shoulder hurting or your back hurting from trying to keep your large breed dog under control. Nice sit. 
Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, you're going to use your left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and then stay. And you have to tell him everything that you want. So down and stay. The long down stay when you're practicing at home, which you can do right in your living room, is for, you can probably start out at about a minute and a half and you're going to work all the way up to five minutes. Dogs like to lay down more than they like to sit, so the down stay is a little bit longer. When Rich returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him just as he did on the sit stay. That additional distraction of walking around him, he praises him for a good job and they take off healing again and he'll demonstrate that down from a heel position again for you. Use your video to work with at home, it's very important. The more our owners view their video and mimic what they see, the better their training goes after the dog gets home. Down, stay. Perfect. Now this time, instead of returning back to him, Rich will call him out of that down stay. Buddy, come. Good boy. Good job. <laughs> He's a big teenager, that's all he is. He's a big, silly teenager. But he enjoys this obedience working, and which is great for you because it tires him out. Now this time we're going to demonstrate the down from a distance, which is just a little bit harder exercise. Rich is going to leave him in a sit stay. Stay. He's going to turn to face him and he's going to give him the down from a distance. Down. <laughs> oh, down. There you go. Now you saw exactly what Rich did when he got confused on the command. He said no and he repeated that command and he did it right away. So that was beautifully done and shows you what to do if he's not doing what you ask him to do. You tell him no and you repeat the command. Now we've demonstrated for you all of Buddy's formal obedience on leash commands. Amanda will be going over everything with you when she brings Buddy home on Sunday. He's done a great job here at school. We're going to be answering any questions that you have regarding his training and how to keep up with it at home. We've enjoyed having him and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.